Hello and welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther. Today is Sunday, July 19th, 2020. And today's topic is called Sky Mix. Bold, beautiful. And it's a collection of images and sky observations happening between July 14th and 17th, 2020. And before we get going, I'd like to say good day, Osio, how, buongiorno, guten tag, kia ora, jambo, buenos dias, bonjour, ni hao, tien dobre, konnichiwa, dobro hoenya, Año aseo, poetaji, dobri den, aloha winala, kalimera, and hudendach. And I'd like to say thank you uh, to a very kind Lavender Sky Panther viewer who sent in this photo. Our little starter image is of a great white egret in Miami. So thank you. You know who you are. All right, so the first image today of the sky observations kickoff here is, look, if you look in the upper left-hand corner of the slide, this is the original photo. Um, so... This was the only object, let's just say, in the sky at the time. There were a couple little puff clouds near it, but that was really about it. There were another couple of these far off in the distance. So it really was an exaggerated, literally in your face kind of moment, like, look at me. <laughs> so I zoomed in, changed the contrast, brightness, a few other things on this to try to see if we could draw out any features to this thing. And voila, look, we have this very symmetrical black uh, rectangular thing. It almost looks like a little piece of candy with a little wrapper, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's very specific and very symmetrical, very ge geometrical. Then we have like an uh, oblique triangle happening up here and something with edges here, like the tip of a triangle. So I venture to say this is definitely some type of structure happening behind some cloaking cloud here. Uh, so that's what I'm sticking with. See what you see. Now, I don't know if this is one object, two objects, or three objects, or all one part of a bigger object. But to me, that structure has to be some type of craft. Now, again, whether it is man-made, human-made, um, human-made and um, ET-made, or collaboration, or it's just ET, or interdimensional, I don't know. You be the judge. If you have any interesting angles or perspectives on it, please let me know in the comments section below. All right, now I'm going to run through these sunset and sunrise sequences in the show rather quickly, so feel free to go back uh, when you can and pause and, and have a look in each photo if you like. I just need to, for time's sake, keep this show at a decent running time, so I'm going to go rather quickly. But notable features in this little sequence are this strange kind of honeycomb light effect happening, you know, an oblique in the sky. Um, we've got, again, this fiery color, redness, you know, reddish uh, appearance starting to come out as we move along. You know, again, still fiery with a contrast of dark gray clouds. Even starts to turn, you know, slightly different in color as we move along. And here's the title cover slide. It just was really interesting how there's just a stripe of a more cream color. And then we had the more warm, fiery colors. Also notable here is this big cloud at the bottom. It's like a heavy blanket of gray cloud. We've talked about these in previous shows. Um, but then the edges start to look really weird and very, like, artificially induced. Um, again, the purpose to, to roll in and obscure completely uh, evidence of what's happening with the sun as it touches the horizon and also at sunrises that's happening as well, that phenomenon. And do look at other sky and earth watching channels, please, from around the world. You'll see that they're documenting this as well. And up here we've got a very strange oddity for a subtropical Miami, Florida. This is a lenticular forming cloud, and those usually only happen in cold temperatures or very um, higher altitude with wind. And we did not have any of that here, but I'm seeing these um, in the middle, sorry, middle slide at the bottom, more and more this shape forming where it just makes no sense. Okay, still part of the same sun sunset sequence. We've got the orange, red, um, sorry, yellow oranges happening in the lower left corner, starting to turn to red and pink above. And then we've got these strange cloud forms, which could be cloak crafting back in there. I would venture to say that's very possible. And then as it moves along, it just like blanks back out toward white. You know, after we have this fiery red-pink flash happening consistently now between 8.15 and 8.30, at least where I am on the east coast of the U.S. All right, so here's some standalone enlarged photos. Um, Here's a very purple, I just call it purple shield. Others might see a face in here or a skull even. Uh, that looks like a snake. That's just very strange. So to me, this kind of chaotic activity all at once might be some type of cloak in there crafting. I didn't put up the uh, high contrast on it. Could be something hiding in there. To me, that looks triangular. Anyway, to the right, we have what I'm just calling a unif unicorn rubber duck, and I think it's obvious why. So the body looks like a rubber duck, and the head to me looks like a unicorn looking off into the distance. And again, floating on this insanely intense, um, thick 
gray cloud blanket which obscures our sunsets and sunrises these days. Okay, this standalone obviously just showing you some of that fiery color to that sunset. It's very dynamic. Uh, sorry if you hear the barking dog in the background. I'm filming outside today. All right, and here's the cover slide again, just beautiful and intense. And again, this edge work just looks very artificial to me. Okay, and again, just the beautiful red pinks in the sky and these odd cloud forms clustered together moving along. All right, now this one is just called Pure White Cloud and Gray Sky Question Mark. I think it's obvious why. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It is taken through a windshield, so this little speck and some other specks are just dirt on the windshield. However, what type of sky phenomena causes this, where we have one white object and the rest is dark? There was nothing else like this around. Just this on its own. So see what you think. All right, now this is another um, noteworthy slide. So we have this big expanse. It looks like a delta cloud right over the sun. Now I use uh, actually suns here and in quotes because if you've seen any of my other previous shows, we talk about the possibility of an artificial sun or at least artificial tech and lens work um, obscuring our true view of the sun and causing just this white uh, glaring ball effect um, increasingly, you know, day by day. And then as you look further down, we just see even if uh, this more, you know, greater territory is the sun, what's happening down here? So to me, that's evidence of a second sun or even a third sun. I cover that in previous shows. Do have a look at what I'm talking about there. And if it's all new to you, the concept of an artificial sun, uh, look at my previous show um, that you know, has like the sun is not alone in the title and some others, even the most recent uh, two shows before this, you'll see what I'm getting at. And also if you just root around and look at some Sky and Earth watching um, channels on YouTube, anything talking about artificial sun, you'll see it. And it, even if you just do a search online and look up artificial sun or patent for solar simulator or just solar simulator, you will see that patents have been issued in the early 1960s for solar simulator. All right, this pairing is strange clouds and light source. So on the left-hand side, nothing's been, uh, no contrast or color has been altered. It's just the regular photo. But what I want to say is that more so than just using your physical eyes or your camera to pick out things these days when you're doing your sky observations, just go by feel also. Like in this one, just something felt odd, like it's sitting there. Even felt like a swirling effect happening here. And then when I looked at the photos, I see, again, a symmetrical, you know, geometrical shape. I don't know if it's a pentagon, hexagon, or anything else. I can only see part of it. And this looks like, again, telltale obscuring or cloaking type cloud or plasma or whatnot. Now on the right hand side, this photo I did um, play around with the contrast and color to pull stuff out. This one is illustrating that um, it's easy to get lost in parts and pieces. So here in the lower, if you follow my cursor, like there's a little object here, looks like a symmetrical object peeking out here. Um, but you'll also have to look at the bigger picture, so to speak. So if you follow my cursor, this could be one big object on its own as well. So have a look in here and um, zoom in on your own and see what you see. And again, you see something interesting that I have not uh, called out, you know, uh, let me know in the comment section below. All right, now this particular pairing is just, um, you know, very odd, you know, distinct cloud happening here. I zoomed in on it. Uh, sorry, I didn't zoom in on it. I changed the contrast, a few other things in the picture below, and I didn't get to any structure like I usually do, um, but I just, just note how otherworldly and strange the light sources seem to be happening beyond that cloud. And then to the right, I didn't get anything too obvious when I had tried changing the contrast and stuff, so I'm just leaving it as it is. But to any Star Wars fans out there, you can see the Millennium Falcon, I am sure. All right, now in this pairing, it's the original photo to the left and enhanced version to the right. So to the left, this just did not seem right. It's like one big walnut with some light of its own happening within it. Um, this is looking west, and the sunset would have been happening where my cursor is, you know, down here actually to the north. So this thing had its own light source. And above, I just did not know what was going on there either. So to the right, I started playing around contrast and sharpness, a few other things, trying to pull out what that could be. I didn't get any more clarity. So that just shows me something is veiling, you know, deliberately veiling the view of whatever's happening there. And even this bitmap me appearance, even on the original, that was how it looked to the naked eye, the human eye. So, you know, you see the cameras in focus even way beyond. This thing just had its own like smudge out quality. So again, to me, that says something is cloaked in there or that is, you know, artificially generated. Again, could be ET generated, could be man-made tech. I'm not sure at this point, but uh, definitely something is going on in there. See what you think. 
All right, here's another one. I took a picture of triangular clouds because looking up, I think you can see it right away. That is a triangular shape in the clouds. Um, that's in shadow, or at least it's darker gray than the others. Why? And there's another shape happening beyond. So I went ahead and you know did high contrast on this one in the upper right just to really see what I could see in there. So it looks like something could be happening in there. And then we have more, you know, triangular form to that happening beyond. So again, it's an oddity worth documenting and sharing with you guys and girls. All right, talk about oddities. Here we go. Right angle. So this is looking through a car sh uh, window. Uh, so you're going to see some specks through. It's uh, through a windshield. So don't worry about that stuff. But what's notable about this is the right angle. Also a triangular shape up here. So in the upper right hand corner, again, put high contrast and brightness on it. And I think all of this is just kind of smoke and mirrors, if you will, to camouflage the sphere, which I see a very pronounced sphere uh, popping up in there. See what you think. All right, here's another uh, sunset sequence. I'm going to kind of fly through it. But what's notable about this is in the upper left hand corner, you're seeing something looking to the southeast. That's right, southeast at sunset, yet it's completely illuminated. And this is pretty far down toward the horizon. Now, the um, sunset that was happening to the west this time, which was really odd, it was not happening to the northwest like usual, or it's unusual, but it's been usual lately, is that there was no way that the effects of it could have hit these clouds. So they seem to be self-illuminated on their own. And I'll get into how that's possible later in this show. But anyway, um, just, you know, look along again at your own leisure at some of these images. This is one in the lower right-hand corner. is really odd looking southwest. you got this weird cloud and then this pink cloud. And they're not too far off from each other yet. One is pink and the other is gray. All right, we're going to keep going along in the sunset sequence. And look at this fiery red ball, red-orange ball. We're looking west. And what's notable about this is just all the layers of veiling. And again, I believe they are artificially employed. So we've got dark clouds here, strange clouds happening here on angle, these drifting dark gray puff clouds. I think there's enough in there that you can see that's doing working hard to, in, in conjunction with each other, to camouflage whatever's going on back here. Again, look at this. I, I don't remember any clouds looking like that in decades of being on this planet. Um, you know, just have a look more on your own when you have time to go through these. Um, you know, to have some zoom-ins, or uh, not zoom-ins, but just standalones, so you can have a better look at what's going on than the smaller size from before. And again, look at the cursor. That's dark, dark blanket moving in to hide the sun. And just looking straight through, this just looks all um, fuzzy and hazy, so you know there are layers upon layers veiling our view of what really is happening here. And look at that, like burst of red. I mean, and, and again, my camera doesn't show it as red as it was, so you can only imagine something is happening here. And I do believe it is a red planetary body happening beyond, uh, you know, in that's entered our Earth's neighborhood. So do you have a look at previous shows that I've done, like um, such as um, Red Tinge Skies Y and other Earth and Sky Watching channels to see what could be happening and come up with your own story or uh, theories of your own on it. All right, this is just another standalone shot, but just to admire some of the colors and things happening, even though it's being veiled. Okay, and here's standalone of those pink clouds. It's a little fuzzy because it's off in the distance. We'll try to get sharper ones later. Okay, now this is a sunrise sequence. This is really odd, and I can only touch on a couple of the oddities, again, for time's sake. So do have a route, route around here on your own and, and see what you come up with. But there was intense lightning and thunder happening between 5 a.m. and 7.30 a.m., precisely when I wanted to go try to catch Neowise in the sky and also the sunrise. So I don't think that was a coincidence. However, I was running in and out between uh, lightning bolts. I don't recommend that. They actually weren't even lightning bolts. Let me rephrase that. It was just flashes, like looking like LED flashes. I didn't see any bolts. It was really strange. But anyway, here we go. Upper left-hand corner, what's going on? We're looking northwest, and this is very low in the sky, and it's really golden. Okay, so what's weird about that is, okay, the sunrise is supposedly happening diametrically opposite of this to the east, but it's really in the northeast. So look at the upper right-hand corner. Corner. See this cloud in the corner is obscuring any light of that golden character. And then we got white in between. So what's causing this yellowish, you know, stuff to pop up? It's not the sunrise, hint, hint. So it looks to me like something is up within the cloud generating the light itself, or there's got to be some other explanation, but it's not the sunrise. So here we go. Uh, further in the sequence, again, we got light sources that seem to be bright white, but yet we've got a gold thing happening down here in the lower corner. So what's going on? How am I getting a bright white light source when it's supposedly golden to the east? Question of the day, guys and girls. All right, lower two for photos. 
um, are there to illustrate. We're looking north in this one, northeast in this one, but you can kind of see evidence of an arc, you know, an arc implying like a spherical um, projection of light, and here too, you know. So again, it implies there's some type of spherical, spherical object happening that might be um, being, that is um, more than likely being obscured by artificial veiling and smoke and haze means. All right, this is a uh, standalone photo of that one with the clouds. Now this is important going forward because not only is this an odd cloud in itself, look at the illumination behind it. It almost seems like that's a localized illumination highlighting this cloud because it's bright white. You look to the left and it's being obscured with dark cloud, but it's golden toward the west. And then over toward the um, northeast here, you know, again, you see the blanket of cloud hiding a golden sunrise that's trying to rise anyway without obscurity. And then you have white beyond and white beyond here. So something's here local. So it just got me thinking. I've been seeing, if you look here, there's a triangular object where my cursor is and a roundish object. And I'm going to zoom in on those in a bit. But I've been noticing uh, consistently with summer sunrises especially, I've been seeing this weird little form, triangular form, with a bright white outline. So if you look at the whole sky, you look for the brightest white objects you can find, and they're right here. Why? So we'll have a look at that. I believe that the um, the the triangle may be creating cloud, like a cloud maker, and the sphere might be creating light. So we'll take a look at that theory in a minute. Actually, right now we will. <laughs> so look at the left-hand side. Okay, I'm saying triangular shaped an orb cloud and light makers, or are they sensors, or are they surveillance things? I don't know what they are. And also on top of it, look at this. What is this? It's like a, a symmetrical form, you know, geometric. Then we go to the right, so back into it. I zoomed as far as I could. It's bitmappy because that's the best I can do with this camera. But uh, clearly we have an orb or orb-ish like thing with a light of its own, okay? And then we have this very bright uh, outlined, uh, white outlined triangle. So again, I've seen these orb-like things creating um, different colors and clouds, and I've seen them creating, so I don't know if they're just a light source, like creating lightning flashes and cloud color, and the triangle is creating cloud, or they're both doing it somehow together. I really have no idea, but I want you, I'm flagging these for you to go out and observe in your areas where you are, see if you see these. Also, if you don't see them to the naked eye, you often won't. Just take a picture and then go study the picture later and it will jump out at you like it does for me. All right, so here's another standalone photo. I had to capture this. Look at that odd, artificial, smoky, hazy-like gray blanket, you know, smearing out the presence of the uh, rising sun. And again, we've got goldish color, then bright white, and then gold again. What the heck is going on? And what is this type of cloud form? Looks like it has darker, like worm-like or snake-like things in it that I'm seeing more and more lately. What is this stuff? All right, here's another standalone of this smudge out. You can see it. You know, it looks like it's like obscuring something or it's um, a bigger craft cloaking. I'm not sure. See what you think. But again, golden activity left and right when the sun is supposedly obscured. It's a head scratcher for you. All right, now same sunrise looking north off to the distance. I just noticed a very distinct triangle, so I zoomed in, changed the contrast and color a bit, and there you go. And again, look at there's some insanely bright thing happening beyond it. So I, again, I think that's being veiled behind layers and layers of stuff, either smoke cloud, water vapor, plasma, I don't know what. All right, now now we're skipping on to a sunset, which again I'm calling veiled sunset, and craft question mark. So we get these weird dark clouds that grow, you know, roll in to obscure our sunrises and sunsets. Here's the ball of uh, peach, you know, orange trying to set here. But what's weird is, you know, caught my attention is again, this is artificial looking, you know, created cloud. And then you have uh, some objects look like they're hiding in there. So let's take a closer look. Here we go, bottom image. I've enhanced and changed some things, again, trying to draw draw the objects out. So you can see clearly there's an object there that's got some cloaking stuff happening, plasma or cloud vapor, whatever the heck that is. And you've got a very clear like pole-like structure. And actually, I captured that pole-like stru pole structure in another previous show. I think it's the one that has the sky triangles in the title. But anyway, upper right, you see it again. You know, you see a little more detail. Upper left-hand corner, I just zoomed in and, you know, just did more, you know, photo enhancements just to try to get at what this thing is. But I really can't, but you do see their structure. I don't know if there's structure down here, too, or if it's just this more narrow thing. But have a look on your own. I think these also might be uh, cloaking craft as well. 
All right, this is just called multi-level veiled sunset because here's the sunset ball going down. We've already got this dark, dark cloud that's going to be suppressing that in a moment. And you see a triangular form, another one. I think this is a similar thing to that outline triangle I showed you earlier that I was calling cloud maker. But anyway, you know, look at, we've got all this dark activity. We've got other veiling happening in here. How are we getting bright white light here when the sun is supposedly way down here under a heavy cloud cover, uh, you know, or even up here? So that's just another head scratcher for you. Do have a look at that critically, see what you think, come up with your own, um, formulate your own opinions. And again, if you feel like sharing them, let me know in the comment section below. All right, so this uh, photo comes courtesy of Aesthetic Girl. Thank you, Aesthetic Girl. Appreciate anything uh, you guys send in. And um, let's see, so this is in North Carolina, looking northwest. Now what's very interesting about this is we've got our little sun trying to set here. Got this huge dark cloud coming in, see, to obscure the view of it actually setting. And all this haze and muck, I'm just gonna call it above. Look at that, that's a very thick veil of something happening. And there's even like this grayish, you know, kind of, um, you know, appearance in here too, as if something may be behind there that's being veiled. So here we go again. Thank you, Aesthetic Girl, for another view of that ellipsoidal or elliptical blanket. Look at that dark, dark blanket. So I just put this box here for privacy for whoever's in this car. I don't know. But anyway, um, look at this. It goes all the way around. You can already see it's doing its job obscuring the sun. But then below it, you see this heavy gray blanket at the horizon. And this is being, and it comes all the way over here to the right. So that's been documented too. It's happening consistently all over the world. Other Skywatcher channels, they're showing it too, especially in the UK and every other place. Um, it seems to be a pattern that it's being hidden. The sunrise and sunsets are being hidden as they, they go down. Now, what's weird about this photo too is that here's this beam, you know, darker beam shooting off. So it implies that there's an object maybe in front of the sun that's creating shadow. Anyway, have a look at any of these photos on your own too. See what you find. All right, now if you've um, been with my, watched any of my shows before, thank you. And you know I like to close on a note of nature. And if you're new, again, welcome. So I like to document some um, nature things happening, uh, preferably on the ground, to ground us back down away from after looking up at the sky so much. So it's usually something that crosses my path or I cross its path. So today this crossed my path. So the scientific name is Casmorodius albus. It's the great white egret, or it's also just called the great egret. And I'll let you read all of the specifics about it. It does inhabit the Everglades, and it's one of the largest wading birds. They uh, uh, recently have begun to spread and expand their territory into urban areas, so they end up hunting for things like lizards instead of their normal marsh habitat stuff. But anyway, uh, they're beautiful. They're usually solitary figures. And uh, even some local artists have started to fashion lawn sculptures out of white plastic PVC pipe to be egret lookalikes. So sometimes you'll be driving by and you think you see one, but it's really just the plastic statue. Anyway, have a look more at details. I include a site below to you know give you a little starting point if you want to learn more about them. They're beautiful. Anyway, the photo credit goes to a very kind Lavender Sky Panther viewer, and it's actually the same one from the starting slide. So thanks again uh, to you. All right, so thank you for drifting over here a while. The closing photo of the week is just another kind of high contrast on that original photo that started off the slideshow. Um, again, so strange, you know, with the camouflage and whatnot. I'm just putting it here because I found it funny that it, the um, traffic lights has stopped and it really was just kind of stopped in the sky. So anyway, thank you everyone for being here and um, uh, during this time with the show with me. It is going to be the start of a beautiful week ahead, so just enjoy it wherever you are right now. I wish you all the best. Tremendous peace. Lavender Sky Panther. Bye.